guys. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a geek. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, anyway, anyway, so I wanted to do this video. It came to my mind um, a few days ago. And the reason why I want to do it is because I have, I don't know, sometimes I get this feeling that I don't quite fit in the healing world because I, I don't know, I just feel a bit different to a lot of them and not by force. Um, it's just sometimes I do because... Um, I find that I am, um, I'm a little bit random. I'm not softly spoken. I'm really not. <laughs> I, um, my music tastes are pretty um, well and varied. And um, yeah, we're not all day listening to certain Hertz style music. Um, and I like to think that nobody else really is either. But it's a, there's an image that is portrayed especially on social media, where everybody's like, mm. I don't even own a picture of myself where I'm like this. I'm going to get one though. <laughs> but um, yeah, it kind of got me feeling a bit like, oh, I don't, you know, I just, I'm just not. I just, I just look at these things and don't feel relate, like I can relate, you know? I'm quite loud, I don't really speak that eloquently, I try, um, and yeah, it's just been a bit of a funny one, getting my little feet in there, even being called a healer, I'd, like, I'd rather call myself a facilitator, a type of coach, because <laughs> even the word healer makes you sound like you're some sort of mythical creature, so I've got this on because it's cold. Um, but yeah, so I wrote some things down about myths about healers that that one, I don't res resonate with and two, I just feel like are slightly untrue. So let me find it. Let me find it. Let's see if I can find it. <laughs> okay. Do you like my book? It says, create the story you wish you want to tell, sorry. It's very nice, my friend Natasha bought it for me. Me and my best friend, we have the same name. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, there was, there's, there's kind of an image on social media that healers are like the finished article, like they have all their feeling, feeling, healing, and feeling <laughs> down, you know, they've got it all under control, you know, they, 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 it, you know, all their trauma is, is healed um, and they're just out here healing everybody else. Um, and that's just not the truth. Like, um, there's, a, there's a couple of healers that I follow that are so honest and so open about um, their experiences and, and the, you know, the different ups and downs that they go through and it just makes you feel very much more human and relatable because that's real life like we're all going through our ups and downs so when you see someone who's just like zen all the time and every day is just wonderful and that's so lovely and aspirational but it's just not the truth <laughs> you know that doesn't mean that you can't see the good in life and you can't be um positive but um let's just let's also be real <laughs> And it would be nice to see a little bit more of that, you know. Um, it's it's kind of hard to see the hum the humanity in someone who's just like, today is joyful, you know. Every day is joyful. Um, you know, if every day is joyful though, like wow, that's amazing and and and, and something that I'd like to aspire to. But it does seem unrelatable. And um, from my personal perspective. Um, I'm, I'm working on my stuff, you know, um, the stuff I've overcome and the stuff I'm overcoming. And also I believe that um, you never really healed, you just learn to manage. You learn to manage your triggers, the, the trauma no longer has an effect on you like it was. So it's about resolving it, it's not about healing it and getting rid of it because um, I just don't believe that that's how it works. I believe that you resolve it and you, um, yeah, you resolve it, you make, you make sense of it um, and that's how you can overcome it, have, overcome it having a long-term effect on your life. 
and that's how it feels. I mean, maybe that's because how it, how it feels for me. I guess some of healers could probably say, you know, I'm fully healed and, you know, conquered. And um, yeah, that's great. Teach me. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's a bit of a myth because we're always learning. There's always something to learn. I think it'd be kind of egotistical to think that we're the finished article and we just are the all seeing, all knowing, all healed. <laughs> the other thing is um, healers don't swear um or get angry because you know anger's like passing on the control to the other person like you should always be in control of yourself let's be honest that's not true either <laughs> healers get honest um angry healers get pissed healers swear um and that's just the truth of it Pe you know and when i say healers i'm 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 i extend that to like the conscious community spiritual people um yeah we're humans stop stop making out that you know with some type of superhuman that doesn't feel doesn't see doesn't you know um just be a bit more honest like that that pissed me off the other day and i'm gonna and i'm gonna be honest um yeah because then it starts to make people feel like they shouldn't feel their feelings and what is really important is that we need to feel to heal and if we act like we can't, um, you know, work on that throat chakra and say what we want to say and feel how we want to feel and, and, and if I'm blind just to get it out, then why the hell not? The other thing is that um, we're always love and light. <laughs> um, no, I know I'm not. <laughs> um, you know, I'm definitely very smiley, happy huggy person but i don't think i'm always love and light there's definitely like my light and my shade and i'm always working on balancing those things out um and that's important you know um for people to know so then um because that's the other thing about healers like i think sometimes the need to portray that is there because so so um people feel like they can come to you for their healing which is fine but one thing that i think healers need to disclose more not to sit there in someone's session and start divulging all their stuff because that's not what their person's there for it's unnecessary not professional but what's important for um people to know that come to healers is that um they are doing their own work you know they are they they will still be triggered and they will address those triggers as they come and go they the thing about heat healers is just they just have more tools than most to deal with their stuff and that's all it's not because they're super human in any way it's just a gift that's been nurtured and worked on um and they just have more tools you know, it's just like anything, it's experience, it's time, it's reading, it's education. And that's that's the only thing separating um, a healer's trauma from a from a per you know, a normal person's trauma is that they're just far more equipped to to um, to know what to do when they're triggered, whereas someone who doesn't know will not know and they'll just, and they'll you know seek support and whatnot, whereas a healer might be less inclined. But I will say this actually, um, it is important that healers still go and get help and support where necessary as well because you hear a lot of things on a daily basis, you um, you take on a lot of people's energies on a daily basis. Um, you know, we go through stuff in life um, and, and, you know, fingers crossed it's all good, but sometimes it's not. And it's important to, um, to, to see someone. It's good to, to, to offload those things so it's not kept in, you know, in your subconscious. Um, it's good to clear, clear those things out. I still go and get support from my Reiki master because I think it's really important to, to, to resolve things talk about things get things out um it's good to kind of get um perspective on your practice um you know especially if they're you know a lot more um experienced than you it's good to learn from them so yeah um i think it's good to seek support outside of yourself um in order to to grow um yeah i think it's important 
think it's important not to just um, put all that pressure on yourself to, to get through things and to sometimes just say, hey, I need a bit of help here, will you help me? And do that. But anyway, I'm waffling now. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, to do this because it's just something that I see sometimes and just think, I can't relate. I'm a healer, but I can't relate. <laughs> um, you know, and there's things that I can relate to as well, which is just wonderful. And um, yeah, it's just nice to have that community that you can look in and um, get support from, learn from. Um, but yeah, just sometimes I wish I saw a little bit more honesty and transparency. But um, yeah, say they say, what is it? Be the change that you want to see in the world. So here I am being honest about, about that. So yeah, there's all there's usually a lot more to things than um, meets the eye, especially now we've got social media. But yeah, I'm gonna go now, and I hope you enjoy this. Take care. Bye bye.